looks like the Indianapolis Colts have kind of found their solution for the kicking situation for the foreseeable future. So the Indianapolis Colts did cut Rodrigo Blankenship today, and they did sign two other guys, two familiar faces. You have Chase McLaughlin, you bring him in, and then you bring the guy Lucas Harv Harvrisik in. Don't really know how to say that in the na name, but two familiar faces. Chris Ballard stays in house, stays with his personnel. Uh, Chase McLaughlin wasn't great last year. He was around 71% of his field goals. Uh, when he played for the Colts, he actually played pretty well. He was five of six. He was, he was, um, he 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 brought in to relieve Adam Van Terry, in which you know that was a bad year for him, and he was hurt and stuff. He just couldn't play anymore. The Colts didn't want to let him go off the roster because they thought that would be a bad move. The locker room wouldn't like, you know, a guy that has such pedigree, such you know, great impact on the locker room to just get rid of him and, and, and a great player of all time at his position, the best kicker ever. It would be tough for the locker room, and I respect that. I respect that thought. I respect Chris Ballard's ideas and what he does. Love Chris Ballard. I've trusted him all the way and has gotten us pretty far. Now Frank Reich needs to step up. He needs to make sure Frank Reich does step up, but ultimately brings back Chase McLaughlin and Lucas Vericity. I hope one of these start. I would like to see Chase McLaughlin start. Um, you know, I think we see what McLaughlin was last year, but this other kid that we got, he he has a lot more upside. I think he hit a 57 yarder last year in college for the Wildcats. He was pretty good. I'd like to see him get a chance. You know, so maybe I will want that kid Lucas to get a chance instead because we kind of seen Chase McLaughlin. He wasn't very good last year. Uh, you know, with the Colts he was good. You know, for a little time he played, but it's a season long game. It's a season-long job. You can't just be good two to three games. You have to be good season-long. And I think this young, this young guy has a leg. He's got some accuracy. And he has some potential. So I bring, so I say bring that guy up. You know, it depends on who wins the battle, though. They're going to battle for it. Whoever wins it is going to be elevated on Sunday to play the Jacksonville Jaguars. Hopefully, we can break the streak. Hopefully, we get some good kicking, some field goal kicking. This is JW Sports Talk Show signing off.